Menachem, what happened during the lineup? What did the detective say to you? Uh, as I was walking in the room to the lineup, he basically told me that I should uh, pick up the guy with the biggest nose. And when he said that to you, what did you think? Um, I was too young back then to realize uh, that this was a setup. I mean, to, to me, this was just basically, I, I never saw a lineup before. I was just part of the process. When did you realize that, that David Ranta probably wasn't guilty and the investigation, particularly you're picking him out of the lineup, w was mishandled? Um, I think as, as years went by, I, I, I remember that, what happened, that somebody told me. But as more and more I saw the news of innocent people uh, uh, getting let free through various ways, I, I, I started to think back to the trial I was involved and remembered where... I was told who to pick out of the lineup. At the time, did you tell anybody else about what had happened? No, this was something I carried with me. I mean, I, I didn't tell anybody in the world. It, it, I guess as I grew older and, 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 and saw more and more of this uh, wrongful convictions, it, it, it really bothered me. I mean, it, it's something that bothered me very much. Until two years ago, I decided I, I have to get it off my chest. I have to tell the authorities what happened then. What did it feel like t to live with this, this secret all these years? I mean, as you started to, to think about it, how did that feel? I, when I was younger, I didn't, I, I didn't even think that he's not guilty. I read a couple of articles. I, I never knew uh, the Weinberger part where he always categorically denied it. I mean, uh, as I, I, I got older, I, I read a few times there was a local a Jewish uh, magazine that had the story, ran the story, and, and that's when I saw this Weinberger, and actually I was, uh, it's got to be three years ago, in Florida, and happened to meet Weinberger at one occasion, and he found that I was one of the witnesses, and he started to say that you're a liar. I didn't want to admit to him what happened, but, but that kind of uh, reminded me that, you know, this, this can't go on forever. I mean, somebody has to know what happened there. How do you feel now that, that you have spoken up and that, that justice has been done? I mean, I, I'm, I was very happy when I was able to, you know, to call and, and, and basically the main point was for me to get it off my chest. I wasn't sure at that point. I felt he might not be guilty. But as uh, Taylor Koss, who was the first deputy who worked on this case, um, told me, I mean, as, as he started to investigate it, the whole, whole case fell apart. So I guess... An innocent man was in jail and is now free. Officer. The sad part is that the, the killer never met justice. Have you spoken to Dave Aranta at all during this process, or is there anything you would want to tell him now that he's been released? No, I didn't. I, I never spoke to him. I, I haven't had a chance to speak to him. I mean, I, I just feel that I was uh, set up as a kid, and I just wanted to do my part, what needs to be, you know, justice, that I, I get it off and, and, and give it over to them to the DA's office, and, and, and I guess at the end of the day, the whole case just fell apart.